What's going on everybody? Vino Lit Video, the 24th of January 2011. Um, again, why I'm not podcasting a lot, why, why there's not a lot of, uh, or not very many Vino Lit shows as of late is because I'm doing a lot, oh, I just stabbed myself with the pen almost. Um, <laughs> I'm doing a lot of writing, lots of writing. Um, everything from spoken word to fiction, expository prose, uh, journalism, uh, writing, kind of like responding to photographs that I take out in the wine country, um, just a lot of writing. So I'm sorry that I'm not shooting a lot of these shows anymore, but the focus is the writing. The focus has always been and will always be the writing. Um, I wanted to say I, I've kind of discovered Geyserville. I don't know why I've never been to Geyserville before, but I have discovered Geyserville for myself, and I love it. Um, one place that I wrote on uh, that I did a post to the blog on Terroirs, the wine bar, the collective wine bar uh, or tasting room of uh, Terroirs. I just want to give them a shout out. That was an amazing experience. Uh, it was not difficult at all for me to write that uh, to write that blog post. Um, I had a great time there. Uh, a lot of thanks to Daisy, uh, to my friend Mana, um, to all of the puppy. Uh, it was a great time, a really great time. I had a great time there. And uh, another tasting room uh, that I have not done a blog post on, but I will soon, probably next week or the week uh, after, is on a tasting room called Locals. I believe there are there are 11 wineries represented in that tasting room. Um, the owner's name is uh, Carolyn, I believe. She sent me an email this morning, and I am going to visit there and do a blog post. I, I can tell you right now I'm going to like it because I, I recognized all the names on the tasting menu, and it's going to be a great experience. So, um, Last night, I was sipping the St. Francis 2008 Pagani Zinfandel which you see right here. See that? 2008 Pagani Zin. I believe Chris Silva told me, the CEO Chris Silva, told me that it scored a 90. Yeah, a 90 in the uh, Wine Spectator. So, great wine. Pagani never disappoints, or at least it hasn't disappointed me. Um, what am I feeling at my own winery of uh, Alderbrook Winery? Dry Creek. Uh, shout out to Alderbrook, everyone at Alderbrook. Um, Ramona, uh, Nikki. Colette, obviously, um, Amber, the wine club manager, uh, Karen McFarland, the uh, director of uh, hospitality, the marketing manager that she is. She's awesome. Uh, everyone, I just work with a great crew. So I just want to give a shout out to Alderbrook. The wines that I'm feeling at Alderbrook, the uh, 2006 Old Barn Zinfandel, uh, the 2006 Carignan, which I have right here. See this? 2006 Carignan. It's a great uh, just a great representation of that Rhone varietal. There's 5% Zinfandel in there. It's, it's awesome. Uh, and also the Confluence, uh, which I was pouring at Winter Wineland uh, there in the Confluence corner with my buddy Heidi. Shout out to Heidi, my new blogging partner. Um, the Confluence is a 70-30 blend of Zin and Syrah, respectively. It's, it never disappoints. Smooth, complex, uh, formidable on the palate. I mean, it's, it's not a weak blend. I mean, it's it, it's flavorful, but it's not, you know, excessive in any regard. I mean, it's not too tannically, you know, haphazard. It, it, it's awesome. I love the Confluence, 06 Confluence. Um, I've been listening to a lot of different types of music lately, and it's been making me think of, you've probably seen me post on my blog or on Twitter or on Facebook here, um, my wine bar. The idea that I have for my wine bar, um, I'm always listening to music, a lot of trip hop, thievery corporation, all these mixtapes that I find on iTunes, um, a lot of hip hop, like the hip hop you hear in the background is chill hip hop. Uh, right now what's playing, um, an old remix by Black Moon, um, Don't Front, you know I got you open, I think it's called, yeah, I got you open. So um, lots of music, the wine bar is going to happen. Uh, it is going to happen. My wine bar, or actually let me rephrase, my wine lounge is going to happen within the next uh, two years. I promise you, that, that will be a reality. So uh, stay tuned for that and I hope you visit me when I do open it up. Um, what am I sipping on tonight? I'm sipping on actually a beer. You know, it seems like I never sip wine on the Vino Lit Show anymore and that's because, you know, working at a winery and then after work, you know, you have a glass of wine and I sip wine, you know, on my days off. So I'm becoming a little bit more of a beer guy. I'm sipping the uh, Red Rocket Ale from the Bear Republic up there in Heel up there in Healdsburg. By the way, I love Healdsburg, the Healdsburg Square. There are so many tasting rooms, so many restaurants, so much to do on the Healdsburg Square. So visit Healdsburg as soon as you can. Meet me there. We'll go drink together. So um, let's take a sip. Salud. Awesome. Has kind of a mapley, a mapley mid palate and finish. Um, rich, not as high in alcohol as the Racer Five, but awesome. Uh, the Vino Lit Letters. 
my self-published effort. There it is right there. The Vino Lit Letters. Um, it is done. I just need to finish editing it. Um, I just keep putting editing off. Again, I'm a writer. I don't really like editing, which doesn't make a lot of sense because writing is really 90% revision, 10% writing. So it will be out soon, I promise, within the next week, okay? Um, <clears throat> another thing I wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah, I will be posting later tonight to Mike's Log No Blog on... Um, a little piece on the Healdsburg Square. I visited some tasting rooms, took a lot of pictures. Uh, so just kind of check Mike's Log No Blog tonight or tomorrow. It will be up. Um, I love Healdsburg Square. I mean, I love Healdsburg Square like I love Sonoma Square. I mean, I, it's just a very fun place. Lots to do, lots to see. Excuse me, lots to experience in, in terms of uh, the magic of tasting rooms and wine uh, and people. So on a little bit of a serious note, um, I want to talk about uh, the post that I uh, did last night to my blog. Um, I'm just all about openness in the wine industry in terms of discussion. Um, no matter the topic, no matter how volatile it is, we need wine is is uh, is an element that begs discussion, civility, and human interaction. So, I just want to make it clear that I support openness in the wine industry in terms of interaction, discussion, um, issues, politics, all of it. Uh, and I think that everybody else should too. Again, this is an industry that is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be human. Um, and we just need to leave the floor open for discussion. So that's all I really wanted to say. I will be writing on that more and more and more uh, on Mike's Log No Blog. And I will be talking about it continuously on the podcast. And I may even start um, a little like radio show, a radio podcast where, you know, no image, just auditory. But I'm still kind of thinking about that. I have a lot in the works right now, and I don't want to overwhelm myself, and I don't want to overwhelm you guys. I don't want you guys to get sick of me, even though you probably are already sick of me. So um, I think I hit everything that I wanted to hit. Check out Alderbrook. Check out St. Francis. Check out Healdsburg. Check out Geyserville, especially locals and terroirs. Um, just check out everything you can in the wine industry. It's all about discovery. It's all about learning, and it's all about tasting. So keep writing. Keep sipping. <laughs> Keep writing, keep sipping, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right? Peace.